you're on mute case so. I should mute. It looks like we have 12 in the audience right now. So thanks everyone for attending uh, today's meeting. We're still waiting for a few LAC members. So we're gonna, we're gonna wait for them to join us before we start. Brennan has joined us. Hi, Brennan. You're on mute, so unmute yourself if you're going to say anything. Hi, sorry I'm late. No worries. Not as late as the others, so you're good. Oh, good. Yeah, we haven't officially started anything yet, Brennan. We're just waiting for a few more of the LAC members to join us. So we're at five, that's quorum. We could technically start, but uh, let's wait until 205 maybe. Okay. Josh, I just got a message from Ken Kawahara, um, LAC member. He said he's having difficulty speaking. He can hear us, but he can't say anything. So he's going to try to log in again. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he used the, the wrong link. I didn't see him join as a panelist. Okay. Let's see if that works for Ken. Hey, Josh. Looks like Josh is on the phone with someone, Mike. Oh, hey, um, what's other? Is there something I can help with? It well, looks like there's a couple members down in the attendees. In the attendee list there. Oh, I see. Okay. E so e if, e if um, LAC members, if you can hear me, if you logged in as an attendee, then you won't be able to unmute and, and be on video. So you should re-log in as a panelist. Um, again, the LEC members have a panelist login, so please use that one. So you have the full feature of participating in the meeting today. Yeah, Trisha and Steve. Thank you for pointing that out, Mike. I can't see that on my end, so Sorry, it helps. That they only have the one link. So Luciana, if you can hear me, if you can promote them up. To be panelists at this time. 
Yes, Josh, I'll make them panelists. Okay. I'll make all the, uh, the, the, just give them, give me their names and I will put them up. Um, the, 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 the attendees that should be panelists. Um, could you give okay. me their names again? Yeah, Trisha, Trisha? Watson. Mm -hmm. Okay, and anybody else? Mm, Stephen Chang was there, but he logged out, so. Camilla. Camilla. No, 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 no. Leave her as a as an attendee. Okay. Yeah, so it would just Anybody be else? Stephen Chang. If you see goes... Ken Kawahara on that list, Luciana, please but convert him to a panelist. Him, but... No. Um, let's see. Stephen and Ken are not on the list. Uh, I made Trisha, she's here. She's a panelist, so she can go ahead and unmute herself. The others oh, are okay. not on. Not, are Luciana, I think Ken Karhara is joining us by phone. He's messaging me now. Oh. His phone number ends in oh. 1900. Okay, I will need to see the um, the beginning of the phone is it a seven hold on just a moment is it a seven six eight or an eight three six it's not seven six eight because that's the city number right oh, oh yes that's true you're right so this is it let me see okay. i'm mute him he won't be able to be a panelist if he's just joining by phone but he will meet he'll be unmuted and he'll participate so you can ask if he can speak now. Ken, a what is Hi, it? this is Ken. Can you guys hear me? Yep, you're good, Ken. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I unmute him. Okay, so I think that's everybody. Josh, um, waiting for Stephen Chang to come back, but we can keep an eye out for him. Okay, and Natalie, but. We we were told Natalie is any, unable to attend today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so shall we get shall we get started then? Um, actually, technically, we we should hold and wait to see if he can come in. Okay, because of the technical difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties. Okay. Sorry, folks, for the delay. Luciana, just to confirm, are you, have you started recording? Um, did you start recording at two o'clock? Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. Okay, Luciana, he's back. He's in the attendee list right now. You promote him. Promote him. Stephen Chang. He's promoted. He can unmute himself. Hi, Stephen. There he is. Are you there? Can you guys hear me now? I can hear you. Loud and Great. clear. We just lost yeah. Cynthia. She walked away. So shall we wait until she comes back, Josh? Sure. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so there you are. Cynthia, are you okay? Thumbs up if you're good. Okay. Josh, is it okay to start? Yep, go ahead. All right, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to the Landfill Advisory Committee meeting number two. Uh, it is now 2.11, this meeting is called to order. Uh, my name is John Katahira. I'm gonna be facilitating the discussion today and we have um, somewhat of a script that we'll be following. So you'll be look, seeing me look down often to read the script. So excuse me um, as I do that and please be patient because reading is not my most favorite thing, especially in public, um, but I'll do my best. Okay, so pursuant to Governor David Ige's emergency proclamation related to the state's COVID-19 Delta response issued on October 1st, 2021, and in order to allow public participation in this meeting in a manner consistent with safe practices and social distancing requirements, this meeting is being conducted as a remote meeting by interactive conference technology. Each member of the committee is participating in the meeting from a non-public location. So in accordance with applicable rules, laws and rules, I will announce the names of each participating member. Members, when I announce your name, please state who, if anyone, is present at your location with you. And I'll go in alphabetical order. Stephen Chang. Uh, there's no one here with me. Thank you. Suzanne Jones. My husband is somewhere in the house, but he's not in the vicinity. Great, thank you. Ken Kawahara. Uh, present, and it's only me. Thank you, Ken. Emmett Kinney. Yeah, hi, John. I'm alone. Thank you, Emmett. Natalie McKinney. Brennan Morioka. Uh, no one else is here with me. Thank you, Brennan. James or Jimmy Nakatani. Here, and I'm by myself. Thank you, Jimmy. Cynthia Resentes. Here by myself. Thank you, Cynthia and Trisha Kehalani Watson. I'm here by myself. Thanks. Thank you, Trisha. Okay, the next item on the agenda is oral comments on all agenda items. Before we proceed, we would like to remind everyone that members of the public may participate in today's meeting by interactive conference technology from remote locations and present oral testimony by video conference or phone. The following procedures are in effect for the meeting. And this is a long one, okay, so please be patient with me. Remote technology will be accepted on all agenda items at the start of the agenda and then closed. Each speaker will be limited to two minute comment period. All participants will enter the remote meeting with view only privileges for individuals promoting remote test, oh, providing remote testimony. Staff will bring you into the meeting and unmute you at the time you are called to present comments. When reminded of the time limit, please conclude your remarks as promptly as possible. For those of you who are joining by telephone only, we do not know your name, so you will be identified by the prefix of your phone number only. We will take public comments from each person on the list of registered commenters first. If you did not previously register but wish to provide comments, please raise your hand on WebEx. If you have joined us by telephone, you can press star three to raise your hand if you would like to provide oral comments. When your name or telephone prefix is called, you will be given a few moments to respond. If you do not respond after a few moments, we will have to move on to the next person. When you begin your comments, please state your name and identify the agenda item you are speaking on. Okay, so those are the instructions and we're going off of 
a list that was provided by people who registered. And I totally forgot to advance my slide. My apologies. Okay, so here we are, the oral public comments. So Josh, uh, by the way, Josh Nagashima is the project manager for this from city refuse divisions. And I'm gonna be calling on Josh every now and then because we work as a tandem. Um, as a person who's sharing the content that you see on your screen, I cannot see the participation list. So I'm gonna be asking him for his um, assistance to see if anybody's raising hands or anything. Uh, my understanding is there was one person who signed up for oral comments, and that person's name is Kelly Kehoi. If Kelly is there, could you please state your full name and the agenda item that you're speaking about? I'm sorry, John. I think I uh, signed up accidentally. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. Yep. I don't see anybody who's raised their hands, but we'll give you a few moments now if you want to raise your hand. Again, it's star three on the phone or raise your hand in WebEx. I always love these uncomfortable silences on these uh, virtual meetings, but um, I'll give it a, a couple more seconds. I, I don't see anybody who's raised their hand at this point, so. All right. All right, why don't we move forward then? Okay, so now we will move into the presentation discussion and action portion of the agenda. Before we do, our um, director, Wes Yokoyama, I believe has a message that he would like to share with all of us. Wes? Thanks, John. Wes Yokoyama, Department of Environmental Services Director. I wanna first thank all of you, all of the LAC members for um, helping the city, for helping on this legacy project because it truly will be you know, something that the residents will be using for decades. Um, I realized I was remiss uh, as a mayor's rep in the last meeting, the first meeting, um, because you know we, we didn't know how much time we had. Um, but I'd like to take some time today to um, tell you about your role um, and the role of the other city and uh, consultants you know, in this landfill advisory committee and also in the landfill selection process. Um, first off, you were all selected by the mayor, the landfill advisory committee members, um, and, and he cho chose you off a list of categories that had other candidates on it. So, you know, it was, it was um, engineering, um, solid waste, cultural, uh, environmental, there, there are other uh, candidates there, but he chose you as the best and most uh, complete participant, somebody who would be able to help um, and be, be um, part of this landfill advisory committee. So in that vein, you know, we're, we're asking you to bring your specialized expertise and experience to this committee and focus on uh, what what your specialty is, because I think when we bring, you know, these different facets uh, to this this decision, uh, we have a balanced decision. We have the best possible decision for uh, the residents of Honolulu, and I think that's a really important thing to do. The mayor, as as most people know, is a football coach, and he, he loves to you know tell us um, stories about his football career and his football coaching. One of the things he tells us is, um, you know, teamwork. Teamwork, what is teamwork? Teamwork is when everybody does their job. Everybody participates 
but every position is different. So, you know, um, that's you folks. You all bring a unique perspective to this landfill advisory committee, and we'd like you to focus on that. Um, with that being said, uh, we are going to take, you know, the, the structure, the city folks, and uh, we're going to run that. We have our corporation council guiding us. We um, have John Katehira will be the facilitator. He is acting in the role of the chairman. There will be no chairman of this landfill advisory committee. We want every player on this landfill advisory committee to have the same voice, to have the same um, impact, even though you have different areas of expertise. So John will act as a chair. Uh, he does not vote, only you vote, the advisory committee members. Um, we do not have to follow parliamentary procedure or parliamentary rules. Uh, and our focus is going to be more um, function over form. So we want to have open discussions. We want to have productive discussions. And I think that will lead to the mayor's um, priority, which is teamwork and getting a uh, you know, final product that's, that's worthy of the, the residents of Honolulu. So uh, with that, I'll turn it over back to John. And I just want to thank you again, all of you, and also the public for joining. John, you're on mute. Sorry about that. <laughs> After almost two years, I still forget to turn off mute. Okay, so anyway, sorry about that. Um, the first item is the proposed landfill advisory committee rules. The afternoon, this afternoon, we have Josh Nagashima from the Department of Environmental Services Refuse Division to provide information about the proposed rules to the committee. Uh, please hold your questions until after his presentation is POW, and then we'll entertain questions at that point. So, Josh. Okay. Thanks, John. So, just to kind of get everybody um, on the same page as far as what we're doing here. Um, so, we're introducing the uh, a set of landfill advisory committee rules. So, I'm going to be going over the rules as they were provided to you on October 21st, last Thursday. Um, it was also posted to the website at the same time. So we're going to go over the rules that as they're written right now. Uh, we're going to have questions after that, and then we'll have a motion and discussion if. If we think the rule should be adopted. So the reason we came up with a set of rules was because, as you know, from the last meeting. We, we, we kind of made some mistakes last time, and that's why we're holding this meeting here to, to redo the vote for the limited meeting. We want to avoid those kind of mistakes moving forward. So you may, as you notice, John has a script and we're, we're going to try to implement these rules so that we have a procedure to follow follow. For the rest of the meetings, uh, so, yeah, like I mentioned, it provides a framework for us to operate. And it provides a process for the LEC to be able to do their tasks. So, uh, next slide, John. So the slides, as you see them, are the rules that are written, but I'll be having a summary of basically what it was about, uh, just so I don't have to go word by word. So for this first rule, authority and membership. So the LAC was established under the revised charter of the city. Nine members were appointed by Mayor, Mayor Blani Piardi. If a member quits, the membership is reduced unless or until replacement. And so that's significant as far as voting goes. So if we have nine members right now, if one decides to leave for whatever reason, then officially we would come down to eight. And so a quorum would be required for voting, and that's a majority of the number of members remaining. Next slide, John. So rule number two, purpose and objective. So the purpose and objective of the LEC is to evaluate and score sites for the city's next landfill. Uh, the output is limited to counsel and advice. Um, and the LEC meetings are to inform the LEC about landfills and the process. And 
to allow for discussion to help you, the LAC in scoring. Next slide. So rule three, quorum and voting. So a ma majority of the entire membership is considered quorum and an affirmative vote of the majority of the entire membership is needed to take action. So in order to adopt these rules, um, we will need to have a majority take action on them or, or vote in favor of them, I should say, sorry. Uh, next slide, please. So rule four, meetings. So all meetings are will be held under the Sunshine Law and the emergency proclamation relating to the state's COVID-19 Delta response. Meetings shall be led by a facilitator, as Wes had mentioned, provided by ENV. The facilitator shall provide all committee members an opportunity to engage and all public par participants the opportunity to provide comments. The quorum or majority is needed to hold a meeting. Next slide, please. Rule number five, agenda. So the ENV director or deputy sets the agenda for each meeting. Agenda items may be added up to the time of posting by, by the ENV director or deputy. So if the LAC would like to um, add any agenda items, they would get in touch with the representative of the director or deputy, and we can add items up to the time that it's posted. After uh, agenda items may be added after posting in accordance with Sunshine. Rule number six, public testimony. So any interested person shall be given a chance to provide written or oral testimony on any agenda item. Any person wishing to present oral testimony can register or can present at the meeting after all those who have registered have spoken. Oral testimony is limited to two minutes and cannot be read by another person. Rule seven, correspondence. Any correspondence addressed to the LAC can be mailed or sent by email to the specified addresses as on the slide. Correspondence sent this way will be promptly distributed to the LAC. And if correspondence is received by LAC members directly, that correspondence should be sent to ENV for distribution to all LAC members regarding LAC business, of course. Next slide, please. So rule number eight, action by committee. So the LAC shall act by motion. Any member can make a motion, but only motions that are seconded may receive and be considered by the committee. Next slide. Rule nine, minutes. Minutes are taken of each meeting and minutes are a summary of the meeting. Draft minutes will be distributed to the LAC upon completion. Rule number 10, evaluation and scoring. So this is kind of getting into the meter process. So I'm gonna explain this one a little bit more than the other rules. We tried our best to succinctly summarize the scoring process in the rule, but I'll be going ex explanations examples in the next few slides. So go ahead, John, with the next slide. So the first thing we wanted to let you know was about criteria. So there are two types of criteria, objective criteria and subjective criteria. So objective criteria are criteria that can be measured and is not based on one's experiences, knowledge, and opinions. So for example, landfill capacity, development cost, or location of a site relative to surface water is something that can be measured. It, it's not opinion-based at all. Subjective criteria are criteria that are evaluated based on one's experiences, knowledge, or opinions, and or opinions. So an example would be the significance of the nearby surface water or the effect on established public view planes. So in scoring the criteria, there's three elements involved. So the first one is the weight. So the weight is the importance of criteria relative to each other. So that would be the first part in the score scoring process. You would weigh each criteria in relation to each other not knowing what the sites are gonna be or anything like that. The second element is rating. So that's the numerical value assigned to a site relative to the most favorable site. So for example, uh, the objective criteria capacity. So if one site had 100 million cubic yards, 
and another site had 20 million cubic yards, their ratings would, would be set at 120. Hope that makes sense. Um, and the score, which is what we'll be basing the rankings on, is the weight times the criteria. So the relative importance times the value associated with it. So for objective criteria, and, and this is where the scoring part becomes important for each of the two different criteria. So the weight is assigned by the LEC member. So if you think landfill capacity is the most important, you would weigh that 100. 100 will be the maximum score. So the rating for an objective criteria, however, will be predetermined by the site. So again, I bring up the example of capacity. So this can be measured. So 100 million cubic yards versus 20 million cubic yards. So their ratings are set at 120. Unless, of course, there's a larger site. But say we only had these two sites. So those would be the ratings there. And then so you would get a landfill capacity score for site one would be 100 times 100. The weight of 100 times the rating of 100 for 10,000 in total. And site two would be the weight of 100 times a rating of 20 and 2,000 would be its score. For subjective criteria, it's different because these are based on opinion. So again, the weight though is assigned by the LEC member. So say the effect of established view on, on established view planes, in your personal opinion, was about half as important as the capacity. So we had the capacity weight at 100. If it's half as important, you would weigh the effect of established view planes half of that rating, or half of that weight, I'm sorry. So that would be 50. So for subjective criteria, the difference between objective and subjective is that the rating in this case is assigned by the LAC member. So say I thought, oh, well, uh, if the site is visible only on site, then that, that would be the best case scenario. Um, and every, say, 100 yards, I took, I took away 10 points. So for that site that I could only see when I'm on site, I would give it 100. Let's say, you know, 100 yards away. There's another site I can see where the landfill will be from 100 yards away. Um, and I, I wanted to take 10 points away for every 100 yards. I would take 10 from the, the maximum score, give it a 90. So in this case, the score would be for site one, the weight of 50 times the rating of 100 for 5,000. And for site two, it would be the weight of 50 times the rating of 90 or 4,500, and that's how the scores would relate to each other. Okay, so in the end, after we have, we're gonna have a list of criteria that we will provide to you, and then you will first weight them, and then later on, as we get further in the process, you'll be giving them ratings. And the scores, all in total, will be combined by ENV to get a, a total score for the group. Um, in this case, just an example, you know, we can combine the scores from the landfill capacity and the, the effect on established view planes in this case. So site one, we had 10,000 for capacity, 5,000 for the effect on established view planes, total score is 15,000. Site two had a landfill capacity score of 2,000 and an effect of established, on established view plane score of 4,500. Added together, that's 6,500. So. Of these two sites, the one with the highest score is site one, and it would rank one. Okay. So you can ask questions later. So we're moving moving on to the rest of the rules, though. So rule number eleven is conflict of interest. Um, LAC members who have interest in matters before the LS, LAC shall disclose those interests. And LAC members may, at their own discretion, vote or abstain on voting on matters in which they have declared an interest. So the LAC shall follow uh, criteria of conflicts of interest established by the Ethics Commission. So rule 12 is just the amendment of rules. So rule these rules may be amended by a majority of the vote of the committee, um, but before we, of course, adopt them, we can also make recommendations on amendments. And then next slide, John. So the effective date of these rules shall be 
or sorry, these rules should be effective upon the date of adoption by the committee. So hopefully today, but now we can get into the questions. So LAC members, do any of you have questions on the rules? Okay. If if none, then I'll turn it over to John for recommending the motion. You can go to the next right. one, John. I thought for sure you folks would have questions on the rules thing, because boy, my head was spinning. Okay, so members, are there any questions for Josh? None? Okay, is there a motion to adopt the proposed landfill advisory committee rules? So this is where it's a little weird, but um, if anybody from the LAC would like to make a motion, I would like for you to Say so now. This is the motion here on the screen. One of us needs to do this, right, John? That is correct, Suzanne. I will. I will make a motion. motion. I move for a determination by the committee that the rules be adopted by the committee. Thank you, Suzanne. John, I'll second. Do we have a second, Jimmy? Jimmy, second. Thank you, Jimmy. It has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Okay, so members, we will now take a roll call vote. The motion is to adopt the proposed landfill advisory committee rules. So I'm gonna flip back to our list of LEC members and we'll go one by one for your vote. If you're in favor, say yes. If you're not, say no. Okay, Stephen Chang. Yes. Suzanne Jones? Yes. Ken Kawahara? Yes. Emmett Kinney? Yes. Natalie is not here. Brennan Morioka? Yes. Thank you, Brennan. Jimmy Nakatani? Yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Cynthia Resentes? Yes. Thank you, Cynthia. And Trisha Kehalani Watson. Yes. Thank you, yes. Trisha. Okay, so we have eight eyes and zero no's and one absent. So we, uh, the LAC will be adopting the landfill advisory committee rules. Thank you, everyone. Great. Thank you. So, Josh, I know this part is a little um, sticky and and I just want to make sure that we go through this part. Okay. Um, but I guess, is there any need for the committee to revise the rules that were just adopted? Nope. Um, no, unless no. anybody wants to say so now, uh, this should have been where in the, during the discussion phase. Yeah. Right. I just wanted to make sure we're correct in that we first adopted the rules as is. Step 1, and then now, since we have adopted rules, there's an opportunity to amend them and this is step 2. So, if none of our committee members. Has an interest in amending the rules. Perfect. This is going quicker than I thought it would. Okay. So the 2nd presentation. Also by Josh, thank you, Josh. Um, so the next item on the agenda is a pre presentation discussion and action relating to the limited meeting for site visits to H power. Waimanalo Gulch sanitary landfill and PVT landfill. The site visits are necessary for the committee to gain an understanding of the waste processing operations and facilities. The public attendance at these locations would be dangerous to health and safety and it is impracticable for the public to attend. Josh Nagashima will present. Okay, you might be getting some deja vu here. <laughs> with the same presentation essentially, but just to go over it again with the group and and just to be clear the last time, um, as I may have mentioned um, in email, 
the OIP did not approve the request for the limited meeting because in the motion itself, we did not specify that it would be dangerous or impractical to hold the meeting at these locations. So I'm giving the presentation again, just as, as a refresher, and then we will be going through the motion and we have um, what we believe the motion should start as, but again, it's up to the committee to make the motion and vote on it. So just to go over the presentation again. Um, so this is actually a third meeting. I'm sorry, I didn't change that on the slide. So this will not be the third meeting. And there are site tours to H Power, Wine Gulch Sanitary Landfill, and PVT Landfill. Um, we believe that you know it's a it should be a limited meeting because it's dangerous or impractical to hold with public attendance, and it's very important for the LAC to attend because we want you to be able to see the size and scope of the operations that we partake in. So at the landfill and at H Power, um, what happens to the trash and and how much trash we're really handling. Next slide, please. So, because the facilities, a lot of the facilities, they're smaller, they have smaller areas, smaller rooms, and um, we'll be traveling by bus most of the time. So, to be a 56 person bus, we're estimating capacity to be about 20, 20 members, um, eight, uh, nine members of the committee, and 11 city employees or contractors, uh, but because of the smaller rooms and the bus will have a hard time maintaining social distancing with a larger group. And there's a lot of at the facilities moving parts and vehicles. So there's a lot of hazards with those vehicles moving around. And of course, if as you're walking around the facility, you could slip, trip or fall. Next slide, please. So. As required by Sunshine Law, we need a two thirds vote. So six members of the LAC must be in favor of the meeting uh, to be to, for the meeting to be held as a limited meeting. If we don't uh, have a confirmation of that, then unfortunately we won't be able to give site tours to the LAC uh, because of, of the nature of the facilities. Next slide. So John. So that's me, right? Yep. Okay. LAC members, is there a motion to adopt the recommended motion? It's written on the screen here. So it's again, up. one of us has to do this. I will. That's correct. Thank I you. Move for, I move for a determination by the committee that one, it is necessary to the committee's business to hold a limited meeting and on site inspection at H Power. Waimanalo Gulch Sanitary Landfill and PVT Landfills. Two, these locations are dangerous to health and safety. And three, it is impractical, impracticable for the public to attend because of the safe practices and social distancing requirements that are in place due to concerns associated with COVID-19 and its variants. Thank you, Suzanne. Do we have a second? I'll second. This is Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. It has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? I have one point, John. Yes. Um, I just for those that are listening, um, in the attendees. I believe Tricia had brought up that this will be videotaped while we're at this limited meeting and then it will be posted or someone will be able to view it that is correct and um, josh if you want to expand on that yeah so we'll be recording pretty much the whole time how we're thinking about handling it right now is that when we we're going to start a couple of holly so once everyone gets on the bus, we'll start the meeting. So we'll hold roll call and everything else as normal. We'll we'll ask if there's any questions to begin. And if there's no questions, then we'll have a recess during the bus bus ride. Um, and then when we get to the facility, then of course you'll you'll be going through the facility being recorded the whole time. And then as we're transitioning between sites on the bus, we'll take questions at that time as well. So and all of that will be recorded and that will be played back to the public. But if at any time 
there there is no more questions, then we would call a recess at that point. I'm looking forward to the part where we call recess and we all have to ride the bus without talking. I'm, I'm gonna have my big stick walking around, making sure no one's talking. Any other um, discussions or questions? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, when we're at the facilities, are we allowed to ask questions to the operators? Yes, yeah, so we plan to have um, the, the supervisors at the facilities there to answer questions. So you may ask questions of, of those that are giving presentations while we're there, yes. And then any questions that might be left over is what we're going to answer in between as we can. I think somehow when we do this, because it's all being recorded, we need to, um, it's going to be very awkward, but we should probably raise hands so that the person with the, the video equipment can be next to the person asking the question. So everything is captured in audio. So we'll, we'll do our best to make sure it's uh, viewable after the fact. Jimmy, I think, did you have a question? No. Okay. Uh, there will also be minutes, so the minutes will capture, try to capture the questions as they come up too. So we'll have uh, HDR will be present and they will be able to record or you, you know, so they can look out for those questions. Alrighty, any other questions or discussions? Sorry, just one more thing I wanted to mention, John. So in planning it, I mentioned this a little earlier to some of the other members, but um, it looks like each car might need another half hour or so. Um, so just to let you know that it might go a little bit over um, the four o'clock time that we have planned currently. So let me know on the side if you're not able to go beyond four o'clock. So we're looking at about 430 right now, but let me know. Thank you, Josh. Okay, members, we will take a roll call vote. The motion is for a determination by the committee that, and I will reread just to be clear, although I won't do it as good as Suzanne. Um, it is necessary to the committee's business to hold a limited meeting and on site inspection at H Power, Waimanalo Gulch Sanitary Landfill, and PVT Landfill Sites. Two, these locations are dangerous to health and safety, and three, it is impracticable for the public to attend because of the safe practices and social distancing requirements that are in place due to, due to concerns associated with COVID-19 and its variants. So at this time, I'll take a roll call vote. Again, going alphabetically, Stephen Chang. Uh, I approve the motion. Yes. Thank you, Stephen. Suzanne Jones. Yes. Thank you, Suzanne. Ken Kawahara. Yes. Thank you, Ken. Emmett Kinney. Yes. Thank you, Emmett. Brennan Morioka. Yes. Thank you, Brennan. Jimmy Nakatani. Yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Cynthia Resentes. Sorry. Yes. Thank you, Cynthia and Trisha Keholani Watson. Yes. Thank you, Trisha. So we have eight eyes and zero no's with one member absent. So we, the LAC has approved the motion for the limited meeting. Very good. Thanks everyone. Thanks, Josh. Okay. Let's see slide. Josh, you didn't tell me to advance the slides. Too many things going on. Okay, so we are nearing the end of the agenda and would like to announce that if the Office of Information Practices approves the committee's request for a limited meeting to visit H Power, Waimanalo Gulch Sanitary Landfill, and PVC, PVT Landfill, the limited meeting will be held on November 3rd, 2021 at 1 p.m. Committee members, we will keep you informed and notice of the limited meeting will be given in accordance with Sunshine Law.
There being no other business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you everybody for your time. Really appreciate you making, making time for this special meeting. Look forward to seeing you on November 3rd. Yes, thanks very much, very much everyone. Uh, hopefully see you on November 3rd. I'll keep yep. you updated. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I try to behave.